Hello, this is Club Up321, and this is PHP My and MySQL tutorial 14. And this will be extending um, the previous posts, which have uh, been focusing on a very certain blog. And uh, pretty much um, the goal is to work with a blog for the, the as in this uh, tutorial's goals are to first implement um, a new editing interface and also an editing page. Now currently in the blog, and I'll just log in real quick, the password is just password, well um, I have of course my content here but I don't really have a way to edit it. Um, I don't have any links down here or anything like that but I do have some content. So what I need to do now is to actually wait, make a way that I can do something a bit better than just title here, content here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to implement a thing called CK Editor. Now this is what it looks like. As you can imagine, a uh, what you see is what you get interface would be a pretty good thing to have on a blog. And this is a free to use um, editor. However, it's not meant for uh, complete corporate use or anything like that. You might have to pay for something like that. But for uh, personal use and whatever, you can use this. And uh, it's got some pretty advanced features. It looks a lot like many uh, word processing uh, software such as OpenOffice.org Writer and, uh, you know, Word by Microsoft. And then, of course, you can go to the source if you want to do any customization. And it's really handy because then you can just switch back and it will render it just like it did before. And you can do all sorts of uh, settings inside of it. And it's pretty awesome. So, what we're going to do is, I already downloaded this, but the d download page is ckeditor.com slash download. So, what we need to do here is download this zip, and I've already done that. So what you want to do is open it up in your archive extractor. So you have this folder called CK Editor. You just go right click extract and so on. And then you put it in the folder you're going to use it in. So I have of course uh, my uh, page here in which um, I uh, have uh, you know the posting, login and all that. But I need to actually put it into the uh, page that I edit the original post in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to put.php and as you can see there's a text area. Now um, if you realize uh, there's no real editing interface yet and just to let you know in order to um, use the CK editor they come with its own library because it's meant to be used with any language including JSP, ASPX, as in .NET languages by Microsoft, da, 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 and PHP. Woohoo! And so they, they provide many samples and uh, usage and all that. So they first describe that you need to include the CK Editor PHP file for the CK Editor class. It looks like this. So I'm going to zoom this up really quick. And so first we create a class instance. This is pretty much the editor in which we can set options like the output, base path, config, and all the attributes we want. So what we need to do here is pretty much copy this core uh, template. And we're going to go and ahead and copy it. And then go to put.php and paste it in here. Now we're going to move this code part because this is where it actually puts it um, or gets it ready. So of course uh, the initial value we're just going to say uh, p as in paragraph put in some content and I will close that and now um, just to let you know this base path variable is important and it really is just uh, ck editor um, but it also says it will try to detect the path, but let's just be friendly with it um, and do that. So, um, now we're going to uh, pretty much get this ready and it's going to be called Editor 1. But 
we want to change the name to what we have as content because that's what we're replacing as content. So we're going to go up here um, inside of the editor setting um, of where we initiate it and we're going to call it content. And right here we're pretty much going to be replacing this part with a uh, PHP thing. I'm going to say P uh, PHP question mark and all that. I'm going to say echo dollar sign code because my code is um, the output here. Now just to let you know when we are inserting into the post we need to take some special notices because when we're actually putting into the database it's important that we strip slashes because when it gets sent to the page um, the HTTP headers have to encode it in a special way and that leaves a bunch of backslashes in all the code. So before we go ahead and put it into the content, we're going to do strip slashes. And we're going to end this. And now we should be good for inserting it. So I'm going to save. And I'm going to go back um, to my page here of where I can post. I'm going to refresh. And it does not look like it's happy. Hold on. Okay, the problem simply was I forgot to change one more thing. And that is I got to put in the CK editor into the uh, path because right now it's looking in the wrong place. So I'm going to delete this extra stuff here, put it back in the C, and I'm going to save. Now I'm going to go back to my, uh, my page over here, click on post, and don't worry about this, I was just seeing what um, if it was actually displaying an error. So now I have an interface up. So if I say put in some content, I like tacos, and I'm going to put in um, bold cheeses and I'll send it. it says bad title okay I'll put in some cheeses and my title is gonna be beans like brunch and I'm gonna go ahead real quick and fix something because um, if you did not notice the uh, form reset even though it should have kept the uh, content so I'm going to copy this here, and I'm going to say um, that if strlen of my content is greater than zero, then I am going to go ahead and say my initial value equals my content value. That way, um, if I send something and there's an error, then I can just go ahead and send it. But um, and it will keep the content in the page. But I'm just going to send it and now I see that oh no I have HTML showing up on the page when the HTML should be rendered. Now this is where it conflicts because the, the editor actually uses HTML. So the problem here is on the blog the page is rendered and the content is literally put in together with HTML entities so that characters run correctly except that we want it to just be let alone so I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna get rid of these uh, side things there and I'm gonna save it now just to let you know uh, pretty much this is gonna ruin the rest of the content and the formatting of the rest of the content but as you see this is written correctly so I'm going to delete the old content which doesn't really matter too much to me but what I could do however is change it by making an editing system so this is the next thing we're going to do is by implementing an editing system so that means we require either a secondary page or uh, we're going to do some modifications to put.php either case I think that I'm just going to go and make another page just to keep everything clean so everybody can understand it instead of having to swap around functions everywhere. So I'm going to say new file and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scroll down to PHP type and type in edit.php. So now I have this kind of raw PHP file with not much in it. I'll just copy what's ever in here and I will highlight and paste in here. So now I have pretty much the content of what should go inside of um, the editor. 
Now, the problem is, I have some things to do, like, uh, I gotta first select all the content so I can fill this in when they first come to the page. So, that's the next part we gotta do, is go up here, and we're going to make sure that our, uh, we actually have a post to grab. So, what I'm gonna do here, is kinda grab the same basic content from the post PHP. Now this is just mainly a query with a join and it gets all the data for me. Now you may think of this actually as what other people might call it as a view if you set it up correctly in the database. So you only have to do select star from view blah. But I'm not going to talk about that today because it's a very interesting subject that would take a long time. So now we have all the post data and we're going to want to uh, figure that out. Now we also want to make sure that we're not grabbing data and conflicting with the uh, form. So I'm going to say if not is set and what I'm going to do here is right here before the if, I mean after the if and before the is set I'm going to type in an exclamation point. This will flip the result. It's saying if not is set, if the sub is not set at all then do the following. So I now have um, this part ready and I just gotta close that up kind of uh, set this up there so we know it's in its own block and now we actually have of course the part where uh, we have uh, the is if set and all that so we're going to want to make sure that we strip the slashes from trim and we've already done that but we're going to uh, want to make sure that we have it already and that we actually update instead of insert so we're going to go back to phpMyAdmin here and we're going to go to a post looks like I'm going to re-log in I'll just use PHP user with the password PHP pass now I gotta select the database it looks like it's already there so I'm going to go ahead and edit uh, this one called Happy Tacos. So I'm going to go ahead and put in an underscore in here instead and more ranch. I'll zoom up on that for you so you can see it. And more ranch. Okay, I'm going to send it. And now everybody is happy. So just copy this update thing here. That's what it looks like. It's this update text. And uh, now I got to go back to the editor. And I'm pretty much going to be replacing the SQL. So I'm going to say SQL. Uh, pardon my mistypes. I'm using a blank keyboard. I'm not looking at it at all. But I'm learning how to touch type. Anyway, so we're going to. Uh, move around some things and we got to uh, have the title here we're just gonna fill it in here oops uh, wrong button and now the content and there's one more thing I want to set and that's the date because we updated it so I'm gonna get rid of this where dot post thing because it's not necessary but I'm gonna put another comma and I'm gonna say I'm gonna make sure I got the field name right. It's called date. Uh, now I'll say date e um, equals, and I'll put it in there. So now I just have to say, uh, actually, since date's an integer, I should not put it in that. Uh, I should not put it in double quotes or single quotes rather inside the SQL. But I'm gonna do what I did ahead above, and that's just time. So now I'm going to just get rid of this. And now we should be updating. And it should be as simple as that. So I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to make sure that I, uh, I go ahead and put in the right content. So let's see here. Code there. Initial value. And I'm going to say that post data row blah blah blah. I'm going to say title to with a dollar sign before it.